All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, the off-roading Genesis saga. It was a ton of fun doing those videos as well as sliding the car in the dirt. Probably a once-in-a-lifetime thing, to be honest, considering all the repercussions. But uh, yeah, still fun nevertheless. And now on to the regularly scheduled program, uh, which is a good segue from off-roading the Genesis because we are moving on to a legit badass off-roader. Um, if you guys watched the series that I did with Crown Rally West, you would have seen probably in like every episode, I think it made an appearance, but that really badass lifted on 40s Hellcat Swap Gladiator. That thing was like the sickest build on that rally. The guys that actually built that truck, uh, the guys over at JFB Off-Road, watched the series and actually reached out to showcase their Gladiator on the channel, which I'm so stoked on. I can't wait to uh, get up close with that thing because it was very hard to stick with everybody and uh, you know get some clips of the Gladiator. Just mayhem on a rally if you guys know. So stoked on that. What's even cooler than that is that they are auctioning their Gladiator on Barrett Jackson Auctions. Barrett Jackson Auctions. Barrett Jackson Auctions, um, which potentially my video could be promoted on the Barrett Jackson's Auctions, which is totally rad. So yeah, we're headed over to JFB Off-Road. The guys at the shop are waiting for me to get there. So we're gonna go meet up with Rob and John and uh, shoot the Gladiator. Pleasure to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, he's right back here. Oh, cool. Wow, what's the finish on this thing? Uh, it's, it's like a line axe. Okay. Yeah, we do a, a whatever color. We can do oh, black sweet. or. Expect something this big to move like that. Yeah, she's 6,800 pounds. Oh my god. So. Look at that wine, dude. Yeah, you should have heard it on the way up Pikes Peak. It was just all wine. Really? Yeah, the whole time. Yeah. Hop up on the, even if we wanted to get up on the curb or. You know, something like that, what are your thoughts? This little road at the end here too, can we get up there or is right this here? okay? Yeah, it's okay. So if we can do, this is actually nice. First gladiator. Feels like a Jeep. So Rob came up with a really neat idea. We're gonna take the base Rubicon and try to glitch it into that. So it should be interesting. So I'm gonna put the gladiator Rubicon up first. So we're gonna do it's so weird going wherever you want. It's got a backup here. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Got the shot. And we're gonna move the base gladiator and put in its place the Hellcat gladiator. Gladiator Rubicon, applying Rally Crawler Package. Upgrade successful. 
the Rally Crawler, 6.2 liter supercharged Hellcat engine, 707 horsepower, 8 lug Dana 60 axles, TerraFlex 3.5 inch lift, 12 inch brake system, 40 inch Maxxis tires. This is the fastest Gladiator on the planet. Salt flats tested. crazy coming from a gladiator. All right. What were you going to say? I was just going to say we can rip it up in here. That's really? Why, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Let's do it. That's why I just kind of get off the, okay. off the main drag. Where do you want this guy? I'll, I'll put it back. Okay. Then. All right. That was awesome. So Rob's gonna take me for a ride. So we have a taser on this that you can actually adjust the wheels, uh, gearing, everything from your from the steering Wait, wheel. Oh wow. So it's like your tune, everything is adjusted. It's just on the fly? Yeah.
Yeah. So then we're hoping to get 130 a little more. Jeez. What a crazy thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> is so crazy. <laughs> this thing is so wild. Uh, all right, fellas, John, right? Yeah, great to meet you. Yeah. Thank you, yeah, Rob. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, man. How sick is that thing? There's, there, you know, I've been in some really fast cars, but there's just something just of that sheer size moving as quickly as it does is just a different sensation. It's so fast. Uh, Rob was telling me that they have the record for the fastest gladiator in the world um, or the fastest truck on 40s in the world. I can't remember, but uh, the previous record was 97 miles an hour and they were able to hit on the rally that we were on, Crown Rally West, they were able to hit 125 miles an hour in a Hellcat Swap Gladiator on 40s, which is mind-boggling. And uh, he was also telling me that they they are doing an additional rally, and they've they've got a different tune and a different pulley on the thing, and they're going to shoot for 130 miles an hour, which is just insane for something that size. I think he said it was 6,800 pounds, just madness. So definitely going to be uh, invested in that, see if they break their record again. Uh, huge shout out to JFB Off-Road and to Rob and John for uh, inviting me out. I had a blast today. That thing just eats rubber considering their 40s. Um, th that burnout was just so badass. And it sounds crazy. Uh, just even just cruising along the supercharger wine is... is So yeah, super fun project. I'll leave their uh, Instagram or shop information down below and also be on the lookout for the uh, auction at Bear Jackson to see if my video actually makes it up there. And yeah, had a blast today. Absolute killer build. Um, kudos to them. They've also, their bread and butter, he was telling me, are Broncos. And I was having a little conversation with him about the new Broncos. And they actually have two reserved, a two-door and a four-door. So um, hopefully we can get together in the future when those come in and they do some builds on them to showcase some new Bronco builds, which I'm sure that they're going to come up with something epic. They were also telling me a few other things that uh, I'm not at liberty to discuss, but uh, some crazy things coming out of that shop. So uh, hopefully they invite me back and we can showcase some more stuff from them. So that's all I got. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, just for future note, there's some potential epic, epic shit in the works. I'm not going to tell you just in case it falls through, but uh, yeah, we'll see you soon.